showmethekari.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithal. And today we're going to be making pakoras. It's a wonderful appetizer option. And it can even be a meal for some people. Like me. <laughs> so here's what we'll need. Half cup chickpea flour or basin. Quarter teaspoon baking soda. Salt to taste. Red chili powder to taste. Quarter teaspoon roasted cumin powder. One eighth teaspoon turmeric powder. Half teaspoon chaat masala. Quarter cup water. Oil for deep frying. All right, before we get started with our pakoras, we have oil for deep frying on the stove right now at medium heat, and we're gonna let that heat up while we're working on the ingredients. And uh, here's the chickpea flour. I'm gonna mix, make the batter for it. Um, I'm gonna put in all the dry ingredients first, and you wanna make sure there's no lumps Go ahead. This is baking soda. And you can use a spoon, but uh, <laughs> as you'll find out, <laughs> it's a lot better and a lot more efficient when using your hands. Go There's ahead. salt. Yep. This is chaat masala. Turmeric powder. Red chili powder. And finally, cumin powder. This is roasted cumin powder. Yes. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and add in our water. Just a little at a time so that way you know, you're not overdoing it. Now we've only used half a cup because we just wanted to sh just kind of show you. But this is kind of the proportion you need. And if you're you know, going to fry a lot of stuff, then obviously you need to double, triple, whatever. You know, just uh, keep it proportionate. and. Just make a lot more. The batter should be thick enough where it coats your vegetables um, and uh, definitely not, not very thin where it just runs off because you want a little bit on there. So how does that look? That looks good. There's no more lumps in there and uh, I'm also going to check the salt just to make sure. Mm, it needs a little bit more salt, yeah. yes. Because the vegetables don't have any salt, so this is the flavor. Yeah, I think so. And at the same time, you can check uh, your chili powder. If you like it more spicy, then go ahead and add a little bit more chili powder in there also. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and get our uh, vegetables prepped up for it. Actually, our oil is already heated up. And we've cut up some vegetables. Uh, here's some potatoes. We've just made uh, thin wafer thin uh, slices. And it's very important that it be thin because yeah. uh, otherwise uh, the outside of the uh, pakoda or the bhajia will be uh, over fried and your veggies will be not cooked. So. Right. And here's some zucchini which we've made spears, just thin spears again. Uh, we've got some spinach. Spinach pakoras are excellent by the way. And we've got some green chilies for the brave people. <laughs> And uh, the other vegetables you can use are uh, eggplant, mushrooms, onions, almost anything. Yeah. Cauliflower. Cauli oh, that's <laughs> anything. right. Yes, cauliflower. Anything. And uh, you know, so you can you know take it from here. This, the once you've got the batter, it's all yours. So let's get started. I'm going to take the potato. I'm going to the potato first. Dip it on both sides. Take all the excess out. And I will put it in. A lot of people like to do like a very thick uh, coating, um, but the what we feel is that you know then you cannot even taste the vegetable and the the chickpea flour just overtakes. And again, you don't want to fry these at a high heat because uh, um, you will get raw veggies on the inside. Looks good. Mm -hmm. And we have a paper towel and a, cloth and a plate over here. So you can just keep putting it in here. They got all the excess oil. You know, some things you have to fry. <laughs> You do. <laughs> and they're so delicious. <laughs> There's nothing healthy about this, <laughs> but it is delicious. 
We're looking for a nice golden color. And I think we have that right now. Right. So we can go ahead and take these out. Yep. They're fluffing up nicely too. Right. And you know pakoras have to be had hot. You know, that's the only that's way the only to way really to enjoy them. And you know, and pakoras are absolutely synonymous for rainy days. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that, yeah. Yeah, the moment it's you know if it's raining or anything. Pakoras are just what you really need to have. <laughs> wow. So we'll do green chilies after that. Saving the best for last. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea to de seed your chilies if you're, if you're going to do green chili. Um, unless you're, <laughs> you're really very, very brave. Uh, it uh, kind of gives you the flavor without too much heat. Um, for pakoras, the moment you drop the vegetable, it should come up. That's the best way to tell if it's ready. Alright, for the spinach, just lightly put it in. Actually, I've never had a spinach pakoras before. They're one of my favorites. Oops. So in India, actually, there's a lot of pakora shops. All they do is make pakoras. <laughs> <laughs> and they're so popular. We have one uh, close to our place. and. If it's ever raining or if there's fog or anything like that, my god, you know, there's a line over there line, yeah. and you cannot get in unless you have some connections. <laughs> so if you know the guy, you'll get your pakoras, otherwise good luck. Come back again. <laughs> and the spinach do take a lot less time to cook, I'm noticing here. Yes, because they're a lot thinner and they don't need, really need to be cooked a whole lot. Okay, we have a little bit of uh, batter left over. I think it's probably a couple of spoons mm -hmm. <laughs> and we can't waste it. So this is a different way of making uh, pakoras or bhajis they call in some areas. And uh, you just need very little uh, batter for this and we've cut up the onions in thin, thin slices. slices and we're going to put it in here and we're just going to coat it. And we have green chilies, chopped up. When you do it this way, um, you get more of the vegetable flavor than the chickpea flavor. So, And finally we have chopped cilantro. And I'm going to mix it. Alright, I've mixed it up nicely and I'm going to just take a little bit and I'm going to just take, gonna make a little clump of it and just drop it in. And you want to kind of leave this alone for a little while since the onions are uh, actually slices in there and if you mess with it too much then it's going to break apart. Yeah, those look good. Nice and golden brown. Again, we'll drain off the excess oil from here. Now we're going to keep it on a paper towel to soak the oil. Okay, so our pagodas are ready to eat. Almost ready to eat, actually. Yes. Uh, we have one final step. Final step, uh, chaat masala. Just sprinkle a little bit on top. And This works best if you do it while they're still a little bit warm. And it sticks a little bit better. Right. Oh, it looks so <laughs> good. So you can, like we said, you can serve it with ketchup, um, mint chutney, chutney, tamarind chutney, and um, just so good. <laughs> so join us again in another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com, adding a pinch of spice to your life.